File Shredder software to completely delete files. There are several methods including resetting the PC, disk management, and CMD. Let's try first reset PC method. Open Windows settings and search for reset. Click on reset this PC. Then select get started at the top. Choose remove everything. Followed by local reinstall. In additional settings, you can adjust options like clean data, which removes files quickly but is less secure. Download Windows, which reinstalls Windows from your device. And delete files from all drives, which removes files only from the Windows drive. Click Confirm. Then Next, and let the process complete, it may take some time. Now, let's try the second method using disk management. Press Windows plus R on your keyboard. Type diskmgmt.msc in the run window and click OK. In the disk management window, select your hard drive. Then right click on the partition and choose format. Set the file system to FAT32 or XFAT. Then uncheck perform a quick format. Click OK and a warning message will appear, stating that all data will be permanently deleted. Then click OK to proceed. The process will take some time to complete. Let's also try using another method using the command prompt. In the Windows search, type CMD, then right-click on it and select Run as Administrator. First, type Disk Part and press Enter. Next. Type list disk to view all connected storage devices. Now you have to identify your hard drive from the list. In this example, it's disk 1, but it may be different for you, so make sure to choose the correct disk. Now type select disk X replacing X with your Toshiba hard drive number. Then, type clean to remove all existing partitions. After that, type create partition primary to create a new partition followed by select partition primary to select it. Next, type format fs equals fat32 and press enter. This process will take some time. Once it's done, type assign. Then type exit to close disk part. Now your hard drive is formatted and ready to use. These methods work but are slow, and the data can still be recovered with recovery software. To ensure complete and secure data erasure, you can use SysTools file shredder software. You can find the download link in the description. Once downloaded, simply install the software on your system. This is the interface of the SysTools file shredder software. On the right side, click the file and folder button to permanently delete files. You can also use the pen drive option to erase files from a USB drive, or choose the drives option to wipe data from hard drives or SSDs. For this video, we'll go with the file and folder option. Now, click on select folder option, choose the folder you want to permanently delete. Once selected, click the select folder button. You'll now see the folder name along with its path. Below that, there's an option called wipe subfolder. Keep it enabled. Then. Click Next to continue. Now, it's time to choose a data wipe method. Methods with fewer passes are faster, but less secure. The ones with more passes offer better security, but take longer. So, choose a method based on how sensitive your files are. For this video, we'll go with the standard method. USDOD3 Pass. You can pick any method that suits your needs. Once selected, click the Wipe button. A message will appear saying the files will be permanently deleted. Click Yes to confirm and continue. And that's it. That's how you can permanently delete files using different methods and sys tools, such as File Shredder software.